What happened to the peacock? Good afternoon. Oh, we have one of these stories today that, uh, that kind of breaks my heart. The Azul the Peacock. Not, not such a good situation. So uh, let me get into the article right away. And it says, Beloved McKinleyville Peacock, a neighborhood mascot, found dead after a Craigslist ad ordered the hit. And so we got to go here. And so we have this story. It says that, uh, oh, and this is from the Lost Coast output and I, Outpost, and I'll put that in the description below the link. Um, so it starts off with uh, the job is simple. And it says, it was on Craigslist, and it says, someone to get rid of a peacock by any means necessary. And so what they did, they had this, uh, this Craigslist ad, and they put this map on it, okay, of where the peacock normally, normally goes. And then on Wednesday, it says, the peacock was found dead, covered in blood with an apparent gunshot wound in its lower breast. The news of his death spread quickly among the small group of neighbors who had loved and cared for the bird over the past few years. Those who'd seen the Craigslist ad immediately suspected who the culprit must be. So we have a peacock the neighborhood loved, and now we have a peacock that's been murdered and possibly due to a Craigslist ad that uh, put a hit on it. And so Melissa and Mike Glass say the peacock who they named Azul, adopted them six years ago when he showed up at their house on Melissa's birthday. Uh, and so it, it was sad. So this poor peacock has been murdered. Everyone was happy about the peacock. And uh, they go through the when the peacock was found. Um, and it's just, it's sad. So the funny thing is, or the interesting thing is, when you uh, search Google Maps with location services turned on, it automatically places the little blue ind indicator above your own location. And so if you've saved your home address on your device, Google Maps will indicate the location with a home icon. And so on the Craigslist ad, it actually shows who posted the ad uh, to kill the, uh, the peacock. And so the neighbors, they knew you know, exactly who posted the ad, and they... they they said that they know a man who lives there, a man with whom they've had issues with in the past, including arguments about the peacock. And he says, they were quoted as saying, he knew it's ours. The man had approached the glasses and another neighbor last month to ask if they'd be interested in relocating the peacock. We all said no, uh, though she added at one point, uh, Mike offered alternative solutions, which the man declined rudely. Uh, and then it says that the man also reached out to neighbors via email and in person, describing himself as an animal lover, but seeking a solution to the bird's morning clamor. So, so you've got a bunch of neighbors. Peacocks lived there for a long time. And then you've got this guy that he's, he's not enjoying the peacock, apparently. So uh, he, he wrote in his ad, uh, the bird wakes me up every morning around 5 to 5.30 a.m. and then continues calling for about three hours. I put in earplugs and I put a pillow over my head. Sometimes this works, sometimes not. This has been going on for almost four months. And so, you know, it's not, you know, they say that the peacocks are not protected by the state's fish and wildlife laws. And there's no regulations regarding trapping, selling, or killing them. Uh, so it turns out that if the bird isn't owned by anyone, even though these people say they own the, pe the peacock, but you know, they don't really have it in a cage or anything. They said there's nothing they can do. 
And so um, that's the ad. Uh, well, a fascinating qu uh, quote in this, Mike said the instant left the neighbors worried about their other pets. Like, what if they have a dog that this neighbor thinks is too loud? Uh, and then it's, it, and then another quote says, it is appalling to me that there are no consequences for someone taking a hit out on our pet. And the person who lives under that map marker knew very well it was loved by many. Now, she calls it her pet. Is it her pet? It roams around free. It's a tough situation. I don't know the answer. I have some thoughts. I have some questions. I'll go over those with you now. So, the article references a neighbor that others suspect may be behind the murder. How do you think the neighbors will respond? Do you think he'll be invited to the neighborhood picnic? And you know, it's entirely possible to not break any laws and still have your neighbors hate you. So if you confront or discuss something with your neighbor that irritates you, and they say they aren't breaking any laws, like the fellow yesterday with his Barbie doll collection in the front yard, for example, it, doesn't, it, do, it still doesn't make you a good neighbor. So just because something's not illegal, it doesn't mean it's, it's the right thing to do. We all live in a neighborhood, uh, and we're up close with each other, and there's got to be a way we can all get along, and it's not going to be... Uh, through the defense that says, hey, it's, it's not against the law. Uh, so this fellow here, not very neighborly. <laughs> Why? It's best not to call for a hit on a neighborhood peacock. And that's just it. I mean, you, you had to find a better way than what, that this was not the right way to go about it. Um, and people are going to be pissed. And, they're, and you know, you say, well, I don't care. And I'm sure there's people out there that are, Miserable people that don't need any sort of human companionship, but uh, this fellow, uh, you know, not going to be friends with his neighbors for sure. And then, so Craigslist, there's obviously a difference between exterminating a mouse or something like that versus a peacock. Who would do such a thing? So if you saw this in Craigslist, is there a way to flag it or something? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 I don't understand this. But it does remind me of a story a few months back about the exotic bird in California that someone moved to their backyard because it was obnoxious. Neighbors complained about the bird, but it was never murdered. In that case, the bird was definitely a nuisance. But in this report, the peacock was beloved by the neighborhood. Now, in that story, the, the, the county officials, the municipal officials came out and said, there's nothing we can do about this. And there were neighbors all over the place that said, this is a disaster. This exotic bird is making these terrible noises, and it's just, it's terrible. And you can hear it all over the place, and it never stops. So nothing happened in that case, okay? But this, the peacock, all the people like the peacock except this one fellow, and then the, the peacock gets murdered. And so I get that animals can be a, n a nuisance. We have some squirrels that are wreaking havoc in our backyard, but my first instinct isn't to put an ad on Craigslist with an intricate map to have someone come and kill the, the squirrels. So to me, it's an odd story. On one hand, you feel for the community that lost the bird to murder. On the other hand, you feel anger towards those that would do such a thing. So we talked about yesterday, there's a balance. I mean, should you be shooting your, you know, should you be shooting a bird in your neighborhood that everyone likes? Probably not. We have ducks in our neighborhood. They're only here for a little while. They walk and they quack and they're, they're nice. They're nice. We don't have any issues. But if I ever saw one dead, I'd be like, what happened? Why? And so, I don't know. I thought this was, I thought this story was interesting. It went into, you know, I don't have any evidence that this man killed these, this bird. And they don't seem to have any evidence other than, I guess, circumstantial. I'm not a lawyer. I have no idea. But just think, you have this beautiful peacock sitting in your, in your neighborhood for six years mind his own business and then some guy just decides that he's he's annoying and needs to go uh, what what could he have done differently could he have called animal services and had him moved or something and you know that the guy he he went up to the neighbors and said hey can we do something about this bird and the neighbor said no he said then he sent an email I said can we do something about the bird they said no now hiring a a peacock hitman on craigslist doesn't seem like the right solution but he was giving signs that he wasn't happy about the peacock so 
I don't know. I thought it was interesting. I uh, I don't like to see animals killed. It's not my thing. Uh, so it was kind of a, a bummer. But anyway, uh, haven't asked for a while. If you uh, if you like the video, would you please click subscribe to get more of these videos? We have all kinds of animal uh, animal incidents in neighborhoods, and uh, we talk about real estate. We talk about real estate agents. We talk about the market, things of that nature. So if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, please go ahead and smash the like button or the subscribe button, either one. You can write a comment, whatever you want to do. Anything you do will help the algorithm see that we've got some content that's worth seeing. So with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you for, for watching. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you on the next one.